Happy New Year. Welcome to my best of 2018. I hope you guys all had a lovely holiday season and a wonderful new year. If you saw my last video, you know that we were on a vacation to Hawaii, which was absolutely fantastic. We went to Maui and that is definitely on my list of my best of 2018. I will go ahead and talk about products first before I delve into how wonderful that vacation was and what we did there. So I know that most of you guys are here for the products and not here for necessarily the chatting. So I will go ahead and jump into the products first, talk about kind of like the you know, lifestyle chatty stuff at the end. So we'll get into the products right away. I do wanna say that several of these products were not 2018 launches. They are just products that I discovered this year, completely fell in love with, and of course wanna share with you. So let's get started on my best of 2018. So we're gonna go ahead and start talking about body products. The first one I have here is from Pharmaceutics. It's their Almond Blossom Organic Body Wash. This I really love because it is super silky. It's fantastic not only as a body wash because its foam is super luxurious, it lathers up beautifully, but because it is so silky, it makes for a wonderful shave wash. So I really love it for that. The scent is wonderful. It's a little misleading with almond uh, in the description because it's not very almondy. I find it to be a little bit more on the citrus side, but I do love the scent. I love that it's really large and it's in a pump bottle. It is on the expensive side, I will say. I actually haven't really technically paid for it myself because I have gotten this from Nordstrom's when I've had my bonus points, um, you know, with like a, it's, they're called Nordstrom notes. So this has always been like a perk that I've used. So I haven't actually paid, you know, cash for this. I can't remember exactly how much this runs, but yes, it is on the expensive side, but it's one of those things where if you want to treat yourself or if you ask for it um, as a gift, I do highly recommend this. I, I love it as a nice splurge. I always like to have sort of a special body wash in the shower, and this is my current favorite that I love to have. And then the other body product that has just become a total favorite of mine, and you've heard me mention it a couple times already, is the Live Botanical Body Cream. My personal favorite is the Lavender and Conifers. I purchased several of these to give as gifts over the holidays, and I just put some on actually before filming this video. It's a wonderful blend of you know the conifer scent. And even though it does say lavender on here, it does have jasmine in it. And I just, I love that uh, combination. So this has been a huge hit for me this year and I can't speak highly enough about this body cream. So let's go ahead and move on to face care. The first one I wanna talk about is the category of cleansers. And I literally had six favorites. And so that made me realize that I'm not gonna talk about all six favorites. I'm going to do an updated favorites on my cleansers for you all coming up very soon. I almost had to, obviously I can't flip a coin for six, but it was really, really difficult to pick a favorite I because literally all six of them are my equals in terms of favorites. So I went ahead and picked, the, picked one because I figured you guys would maybe be most interested in the rinsable oil cleanser, my favorite rinsable oil cleanser, which I have two. So yes, it was very, very difficult to pick my favorite, um, but I went ahead and chose the Kahina Oil Cleanser, mostly because I went through a full bottle. This is my second bottle, and as you can see, I'm halfway through it. Uh, they did send me the first one. I repurchased the second one on my own, and everything about it is fantastic. I love the scent, I love the texture, it rinses off completely clean. The only negative is that it is on the expensive side. So, uh, but I did, I think I bought this second one during their 20% off sale. I think maybe, um, I can't remember exactly what the 20% off was, but um, it's not infrequent that you can find a 20% off with Kahina on various you know, green beauty sites. I think they had a 20% off recently, maybe over the holidays, Black Friday. So keep your eye out for those sales to help reduce the price on this one, but it is gorgeous. I love it and it is on my top six favorites right Let's now. Get into the top uh, products from Boxwalla for 2018 is the Moss Bursa Less. So I won't talk about this too much, but this is a balm cleanser that does rinse clean. I also use this as a shower mask and you know, as it, or just as a mask in general, but I do love using this in the shower 
just used it yesterday as a mask in the shower, in fact. So I got this in the box Walla. I purchased one on my own, and then I do have another one um, that I got in a swap. So obviously I clearly love this one a whole lot and it is definitely my favorite balm cleanser and I absolutely love it. So I will link one of my previous reviews regarding this product if you're interested in learning more about it. I don't wanna delve into it too much because I have spoken about it quite a bit, but this is my favorite cleansing balm. Top of the heat product for 2018. So I'm trying to go in order of how I use my product. So next is a toner. And I realize that I actually have not spoken about this product on my YouTube channel. I think maybe I have taken a shot of it for Instagram, but this is the 5 Ena Grace Autumn Hydrolot. And basically this is the toner that um, 5 Ena does. They actually have four of them. They have one for each season. This is gorgeous. I fell in love with this after the first use. It smells gorgeous and it has beautiful ingredients and I'm not gonna go into it in depth right now because I want to do, and I think I mentioned this, um, when the box Walla had their special box with Fivina, which had their, um, I think it's uh, Guiying, it's their um, Declote Balm and they did a special box with a with five in it had that balm in it and two of their biocellulose masks so i talked about how i wanted to do just a full brand overview with five in it. so i have that plan to do later or you know as we get more into this year so i've been waiting to talk more about this brand when i do that video but since the, I did discover this toner in 2018, I just, I had to mention it in this video because this is just hands down my favorite toner that I discovered this year. Like I said, it smells gorgeous, beautiful ingredients, and um, I'm gonna leave it at that just to sort of pique your guys' interest for the future. If you have not discovered these toners yet, and you have been waiting, wait no longer. They are just absolutely gorgeous. I've only tried two. I've tried the autumn, and then I also purchased the winter one, and which is definitely lovely. Uh, I highly recommend that one as well, but Grace is definitely my favorite of the two, and I do want to also try the summer and the spring one at some point, but right now, Grace is my absolute favorite. All right, so then after, oh yeah, so after the toner, then I have this ampule that I've spoken about. This is the Selim Ampule by Yuri Pubu. I have spoken about this, I think, at least two times now. And this is, um, so an ampule is basically just very, it's like a concentrated toner slash uh, serum very thin, very watery, loaded with fermented ingredients. And again, I'm not gonna delve into the ingredients too much. I believe I talked about this over on CJ's channel. So this has been one of those products that I really feel like helps boost other products that I use. So let's say if I use this under a retinol or under a vitamin C serum, I really feel like it helps amplify the effects of the other products that I'm using. And it really helps with hydration as well. So this has been a huge hit for me I kind of bought it on a whim. I wasn't really, it has great reviews, but I wasn't really sure about its effects. It was mostly, I bought it mostly out of curiosity just to see, and it has a really great price point, but it has ended up to be one of those superstar products for me over this year. And this is the second bottle that I have bought. As you can see, it's a new one, and I just really love this. Highly recommend it if you're, especially if you lean towards enjoying K-Beauty, but you want to have really clean ingredients in your K-Beauty, I definitely recommend exploring the Yuri Pubu line. All right, so now on to some favorite oils. And I have two of them that I want to talk about. One I did also mention in the favorites from the box Walla. This is the Moon Eknari. Really love this oil. This has been one that I really enjoy using during the day because it works really well under foundation. I have it under my foundation again today and it just works really well because it's not too greasy. It's not too heavy. It's very light. It has argon oil, prickly pear seed oil, and then the rose essential oil. I find the rose essential oil to be very light. I think it might be a little bit too much for some people, but for me, it's just very light. I can't smell it on my face anymore um, since I put it on maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes ago. So it does dissipate. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I find this to be very nourishing, uh, gives a really nice glow. 
just perfect for daytime. I really love it. I mean, it's also great for nighttime as well, of course. So very simple, elegant ingredients, uh, hardworking ingredients. And I just, I really, really love it. So this is definitely on the top list for 2018. And then also I am just absolutely in love with the Live Botanical First Light Brightening Serum. This comes in a roller ball. Let's see if we can get that a little bit clearer for you all. And the great thing about this being in a roller ball is you can actually use it under your eyes. <clears throat> Let's show you guys the roller ball there. So you can use it under your eyes. You can use it as a spot treatment if you do have some discoloration since it does have the vitamin C. It's good for uh, hyperpigmentation. I actually use this all over my face. I talked about this in my pre-op, post-op video because if you're new to my channel, I did have shoulder surgery at the beginning of October and I could not like, I could, I could not raise up my hands to my face to put on skincare. So this was perfect because it just made it really easy to apply this to my face. So I used this alone and I did not have any reactions. Um, so it works really well for me over my entire face. I can't imagine it would cause um, problems for anybody, but of course you wanna just start with a patch test if you plan on using it all over your face. I took this with me to the Maui trip because of course it was just very easy to use for travel since it's small. I love roller, ball roller balls for travel. And I just find it to be very gentle, very soothing. And you guys know I love my vitamin C products. So this has just been a huge hit for me this year. I was just so excited to discover Live Botanical just in general and then this product in particular. And I have bought another one because this is almost out. And then I bought another one when Carolyn, who is the creator of Live, of Live Botanical, when she had her, I think it was maybe her holiday sale, I picked up another one to have because I do not ever want to be out of this. So this is just a fantastic um, oil serum. I, I really, really love it. And if you haven't discovered Live Botanical yet, if you have not tried any of Carolyn's products, I highly recommend it. Her price points are just fantastic. And in addition to her amazingly priced products, I also have a 15% off code, which is just Trish, T-R-I-S-H, for even more savings on top of her already amazingly priced products. It's just it's just amazing and that is part of her ethos is to keep costs really low and i would just say in general too that live botanical um, as a brand is just probably my favorite brand discovery um, of 2018 so whereas 2017 my probably my brand discovery of 2017 was natural logic i would definitely say for 2018 my brand discovery has been live botanical for sure so um, let's see, moving on after an oil, a lot of times, like especially at nighttime, I would like to apply a cream. Definitely have fallen in love with this One Love Organic Skin Dew. I also mentioned this uh, in the Art of Organics. So top faves from Art of Organics this year. Um, this was on that list. And this is what the jar looks like. And I'll show you what the cream looks like as well almost out of this jar. And I already have spoken about this a couple times now since I did my review on it and then it was on the list. So don't wanna talk about it too much, especially if you just watched my last video, this was on here. Uh, just have been loving this. And in fact, I actually use this today as well. So I use the Eknari and then I also put a little bit of this on top of it as well and then used um, some foundation. So I'm feeling probably a little bit <laughs> uh, more glowy than usual, but that is because my skin actually got pretty dry when we were in Hawaii. The water there is, they have hard water there, and I found that it really dried out my skin, including you know being in the sun and the water and using a lot of sunscreen. So I've been using a lot of moisturizers on my skin. So if I look a little bit um, overly glowy today. That is why I just, I feel like I cannot get enough, you know, oils and creams on my skin because it just, my skin really wants that. So speaking of um, wanting to really lock in the moisture onto my skin, my favorite balm has been from Earthwise and that is the Yasuni Face Balm. And this was definitely a release from 2018. You also saw this on my list from favorites from Boxwalla. And this here, this is what the jar looks like. 
And this has probably been talked about <laughs> quite a bit for me this year because I talked about it in the uh, rebrand of Earthwise, talked about it in my review from Boxwella. This appeared on the best from Boxwella and now it is appearing in this one. So I am just going to show you what the balm looks like, show you the gorgeous color and just kind of leave it at that. Clearly, I love this balm. It's really a pot of magic and just go check out the list of ingredients on Ava's website. See if it's something you think you might be interested in. And of course, I fully endorse it. And then with this one, um, I have a code. I've had a code for a while and it used to be a multi-use code, but now um, that has actually changed for all of the affiliates with Earthwise Beauty that it's just a one-time use code. So if you've never used um, my code before, you can use it um, for the first time. So yeah, hopefully that's clear with how that has changed with um, the Earthwise Beauty codes. So now I actually have found a new favorite eye treatment and this is the Biosans Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel. And this is one that I've also mentioned, but I don't know if I've actually shown you all what the bottle actually looks like. So that's the bottle. Kind of pull back there a little bit so you can see it in full. And then it's a pump. And I have really been enjoying this, even though I know I've mentioned many, many times that I really do like using oils um, under my eyes. And I still do, still really love the, let's see, the root, um, the root science oil. I really like that one. I really love the Kahina one. Um, but I've, I have to say, I've really been enjoying this one. It's kind of like a cream gel. To me, even though they call it a gel, it leans a little bit more creamy in my mind. Uh, the gel to me just kind of signifies that it doesn't really migrate that much at all. And I also feel like it really allows for a really nice massage. So if you use any kind of like a roller ball or whatever, you, if you have a tool that you like to use for massage, um, it really works well for that. There's no drag, it doesn't pull at all. So um, that's really nice with this product. I think the squalane, um, the oil in that really provides for a nice massage if you like to do that under your eye. So I have really been enjoying this. I highly recommend it. So if you've been curious about Biosans, if you do like to have peptides in your products, then this might be for you as well. And I think this is sold just at Sephora or on the Biosans website. I got on the Biosans mailing list and I I think they have codes relatively frequently or at least like offers, gift with purchases, that kind of a thing. So it is kind of on the expensive side. So if you want to wait for a code from them or they might have one of those things where like you get 15% off your first order or something like that. So definitely check out their website if you do want to order from them instead of going to Sephora to make a purchase through Biosans. All right, now this is also not gonna be a big surprise. This has definitely, hands down, been my favorite mask of the year. This is the Moana mask from Hanua. All right, there we go. I think that's in focus. Such a gorgeous jar, frosted glass with a wooden top. And I, I don't know, I think I maybe have three more uses in here, but I will definitely be buying this again. It is so just, First of all, when you put it on your face, it just feels so, um, it's, it's hard to explain. Like you know that it's a clay-based mask. The texture almost has like a gel-like texture it, because it feels so just like creamy and smooth, but yet, it, I don't know, it's really hard to explain. The texture just is so unique. I love putting, the mask on and I have to refrain from just wanting to put a ton of it on because I know I don't need that much but it just feels so good like I just want to keep applying and applying and applying but it the texture is gorgeous the scent I love the scent and um yeah I, I feel I feel like I could just wax poetic about it all day long but it's just it's a beautiful experience it's very well priced Kapua is just a beautiful, loving, compassionate person who is just doing wonderful things for Hawaii, the land of Hawaii, the people of Hawaii, the farms of Hawaii. She's just, she's just fantastic. And um, 
yeah, I just like, I think I've said in my last video when I was talking about Hanua that I just, I really just want to support her and her company and everything she's doing. It's kind of the same feelings that I have about Carolyn of Lip Botanical. So um, yeah, huge, huge favorite of the year. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to some makeup items. The four products that I'm gonna talk about here today, I do have on my face. I feel like I might be getting a little bit washed out here by the light, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the colors that well, but hopefully you get a little bit of an idea of what I have on my face here. So the first thing I wanna talk about is from Cheekbone Beauty, and Cheekbone Beauty is not a green beauty brand, but I first heard about Cheekbone Beauty on the Breaking Beauty podcast. And this is a Canadian-based brand. Um, the woman is Jen, I think it's Harper, I'm not exactly sure. And she is um, an indigenous woman, really wanted to start her own brand, always was in love with makeup and decided and she had like a very lofty goal of starting being a CEO of her own company and sort of put that down I think sort of like in a dream journal or something and then she actually made it happen and she gives her I think it's maybe 10% of proceeds go to um, help First Nations children in Canada uh, regarding education. So just a really fantastic company. I really believe in her mission and what she does. And so I just really wanted to support her brand and her, uh, especially after watching that Breaking Beauty, I mean, listening to the Breaking Beauty podcast. So, I mean, I highly recommend you go and listen to that one. I, I'll try and link it below if I can. And then after you listen to it, you will definitely want to support her as well. So what I chose is their liquid lipstick in Melina. So that's what it looks like. And I have this on my lips today and I feel like it is just such a perfect pinky, brown pinky nude on at least my skin tone. I'm like, so in Mac I'm NC30, light to medium olive skin tone. And I am just completely in love with this nude. I feel like the color's being a little bit thrown off by the green that I have around my neck here. Let me try and pull it away a little bit. It's, it's kind of the greens making me super olive right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, it is stunning. It's the perfect nude. I think you could wear this if you were a lot darker than me. I'm not sure how it would turn out on you if you were super, super fair. I could be wrong because I'm not a makeup artist. So it's not like I've studied, you know, color theory in terms of, you know, skin tones and nudes, but it just strikes me as a very universally flattering, uh, lipstick color. Now I know that not all of you are going to want to go ahead and get a lip product that is not in the green beauty world and I understand that. So I do have one to show you and this is from Henne and this is their lip, I think it's, they just call it like a tinted lip balm and this is in Bare. And let me show you what this looks like. And this too is just a fantastic nude. It's very similar, I would say, to um, when I compare these two. They're really similar to each other, but of course this lip balm is very sheer. You're not going to get the same color payoff as you're going to get from a liquid lipstick, but I wear this almost every day. I've actually never put this on top of Melina, but I think it actually looks pretty good. I can't, it's hard to really see in the viewfinder, but um, this is something that I reach for when I am running out the door to go to the grocery store, to just go play tennis, and I just want to have something, you know, something on my lips. Uh, it's just, uh, this is a no-brainer. You don't even need to really look in the mirror to use it. This is just an everyday, your lips but better, nude kind of a lip balm. And it's, it's fantastic. And I can't believe, I don't think I've ever mentioned it on my YouTube. I don't think I've ever mentioned it on my Instagram, but it is one of those products that I use all the time. And I will definitely be repurchasing it. I think I got it at a local boutique here in Portland and I will definitely get it again. So huge favorite for 2018. Don't know why I've never mentioned it before, but I, I use this all the time. Absolutely love it. All right, now another big hit for 2018 is one of the new Oleo Eoso um, balms. This was their color uh, number nine. 
They launched two new colors. I, th I can't remember what the other one was. I think it was just like their number 10. Both of them were huge favorites for me. I just ended up gravitating towards the more pinky one. Let me lift that up a little bit more for you. Both of them were stunning. The other one was more of kind of like a rosy brown, which I, I really love that one as well. It was kind of more like, again, another toss up on which one was my favorite. I really just picked the one that I kind of felt like I wanted to wear today, really. I mean, I, I use them both pretty equally. Um, I do have it on my cheeks today. Don't really know if you can see it in this light. I could probably put a little bit more on right now. Again, so easy to use. Put a little bit on my nose there. I'm not gonna put it on my lips just because I already have two lip products going, but you can just you put it, swipe it on your lips. I, these balms are just fantastic. I mean, honestly, I could pick any one of them as a favorite, but um, obviously I wanted to pick something that I discovered in 2018 and number nine and number 10 were from 2018 and they're both equally beautiful. So the last makeup product I have to talk about is just something that I have fallen so hard in love with that I just surprised myself. And this is the Lila B Sunkissed Bronzer. This is what the package looks like. And if you've never seen the Lila B packaging before, this looks like a stone. It's super weighty. I think I've mentioned that before on my channel. I can't remember when, I, I know I've talked about this, but I don't know when I talked about it. But it looks like and feels like a stone. And then it slides open, kind of like the Kierweiss ones. And this bronzer is just really so beautiful. I can't even explain it. I have it on today. And it just, uh, like, I don't need to repeat what my skin tone is, but for my skin tone, it is absolutely perfect. It just gives me a nice glow. I don't ever feel like it, I overdo it. It just um, kind of gives that sheer wash of color. It's just exactly what I want from a bronzer. I, it's not too warm. It's not orangey. It kind of gives me a little bit of a highlight effect, but it's not sparkly or shimmery. There's no chunks in it. Um, I, I just, I absolutely love it. And like I said, I, I can't, I never thought I would love a bronzer so much. I'm not really a bronzer kind of a person. I do have one from Hourglass that I, I thought that I did really like, but compared to this, um, I don't really like it as much. It doesn't really do that much for me, but this one, I just, I, I don't think I will ever be without it. And I think I'm gonna continue to just use this um, throughout the winter to just kind of brighten up my face. So I feel like in the summer, it helps accentuate the tan that I have. Um, and then I think in the winter, I'm just gonna use it very, very lightly to help, um, to help uh, combat the pastiness that I know I'm going to have come, you know, end of February through March and April. So um, the other thing that I want to mention really quick, because my battery life is dying, that I have just fallen in love with lactic acid. That is my favorite ingredient of the year. And just as a quick little teaser, uh, I'm going to do in the future, I'm going to do a video on lactic acid toners. I am really loving the Moon Juice Beauty Shroom. I think I've mentioned before the Ren Ready Steady Glow. So I'm going to do a video featuring these as well as the January Labs. I think it's their, her brightening tonic. I have ordered that. So I am going to do a review featuring these three um, toners. And yeah, so lactic acid has just been a huge favorite ingredient for me. I am loving pretty much everything that has lactic acid in it. So lactic acid favorite ingredient for 2018. Now, I also want to mention my favorite food item, not really food item, but like lifestyle thing that I always love to throw in is the Trader Joe's Yuzu hot sauce. I am loving this stuff. If you guys have not tried this, it is fantastic. If you follow my channel, you know I love Yuzu as a scent. I love it in skincare. I love it in pro, uh, perfume. Oh my God, this stuff is so good. I gotta like motor through the rest of this video, but if you have not tried this from Trader Joe's yet, please do. It's so wonderful. I love it on everything. All right, so now Maui. Maui was amazing. Definitely like favorite trip of 2018. 
probably favorite, one of the best trips of my life. Um, wonderful bonding time with my family. It was so amazing meeting Jen Rogers. It was amazing meeting Marie. Of course, we, we were going to do a video. We had every intention of planning a video. She came over to my condo while my family was off doing another adventure. She came over, we were going to film a video. We ended up talking the entire time, which was wonderful. And then we got together a couple more times and we just like went for walks and we talked. So basically the theme with Marie was walking and talking. So uh, we just had a wonderful time getting to know each other, but we already felt like we did know each other already through our DMs and um, you know YouTube videos, of course. But anyway, it was so wonderful getting to know Marie better. And then of course, Jen and I got to meet Brandon. And so, and then we, we saw breaching whales, we swam with the sea turtles. And I mean, we've been to Hawaii many times, but this one just felt in particular super special. Um, and then I also feel like my shoulder healed up even more while we were there, just being in the sun and um, just having my joint just sort of warm up <laughs> from the sun. So I'm feeling a lot better. I'm kind of in this sporty attire here because when I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna go play some tennis and that's my third time playing tennis since the surgery. So I'm going to take off this makeup and go play some tennis, but not like super competitive tennis, just like easing back into it. So the shoulder is feeling better for all of you guys who have asked, which I love and totally appreciate. And then just to end on the note of some favorites in terms of like other people's social media, my favorite, um, Instagram accounts have also been related to um, like big things in terms of like personal growth in terms of really tapping back into um, social justice and really looking at um, you know racism in our society and just um, you know white privilege and cultural appropriation and those things that you guys have heard me mention sort of a little bit here on my channel but i do kind of dig into it a little bit more in my instagram stories and those instagram accounts have been rachel cargill kendriana speaks and layla Saad. and they have just been I, I i love those accounts my favorite accounts of the year for sure i'll link those below so that or maybe i'll just put them down here so that you guys can see those um, I'll try to link those below if I remember, but yeah, they have just been super important to me just in my growth along those lines, like I said, in terms of like social justice and just kind of waking back up to, you know, racism and everything that's been just so, you know, just going on in our country right now. I mean, it's always been going on in our country and uh, still going on in our country. So anyway, I can just kind of feel the possibility of some thumbs downs going on. Whenever I, see, whenever I mention this on my channel, it always seems like I get the thumbs down going on, but that's okay. I mean, that's just sort of the, the nature of how it goes here. But I would just like to say, if you're feeling like you wanna do the thumbs down, um, since I mentioned that, I think maybe if you wanna mention in a comment, like how it's making you feel or what, what's going on with that, um, maybe we could have a dialogue in the comments instead. That would be great. So anyway, if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. I have really appreciated all of your guys' support um, over this year. I feel like we've had some great conversations in the comments and I love always hearing from you. So if you have any comments, if you want to tell me what your favorites were um, over the year, product wise, YouTube channel wise, Instagram account wise, I would love to hear about it. And I look forward to making more videos in 2019 and I will see you in the next video. And um, I think I just have like a couple more seconds here. So I think I made it and we'll see you in that next one. Bye.